This is Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Egg Update for July 29th. Well, corn finished higher yesterday in a session which featured very light volume. Traders continue to focus on the weather, which is currently showing extreme heat through the corn belt, but dissipating rapidly into the weekend. Next week, most of the region is expected to experience normal temperatures. On the demand front, weekly ethanol production slipped by 14,000 barrels per day last week, while ethanol stocks rose to a five-month high of 22.7 million barrels. Soybeans closed higher yesterday in very thin trade. November soybeans were the most active contract, and they traded less than 70,000 contracts during the session. For soybeans, August weather is always the make-it-or-break-it factor when it comes to production. So look for soybean traders to be living and dying with each new weather forecast in the next few weeks. Wheat was the leader of the grain board yesterday. The spring wheat tour is moving through the Dakotas this week, and the estimates coming out on the first day of the tour showed yields down almost 30% from the five-year average. Now, that was certainly not unexpected, but with the historic losses in production, spring wheat's mission will be to ration demand. We're currently seeing that underway with spot Minneapolis wheat futures trading at a $2.15 premium to Chicago and a $2.5 premium to Kansas City. Internationally, the Russian wheat crop bears watching closely as yields there continue to decline, while in France, the wheat crop is being threatened by wet weather, which is slowing harvest progress and possibly creating some quality issues. Cotton continued to work higher, with several months setting new life of contract highs yesterday. At the finish, we had the December futures up 29 points as they closed at $90.52 per hundredweight. Livestock futures were mixed. At the close, October live cattle were a dime better, while September feeder cattle were 55 cents lower at the closing bell. October lean hog futures were hit extremely hard, finishing down the $3 daily limit. Class 3 milk futures had a pretty tough outing. At the close, we had August futures down 26 points, settling at 16.35. And meat cutoff values were all stronger yesterday. Choice box beef ended the date $3.43 higher, closing at 273.16. Select boxes were up $2.18. They settled at $2.56.12. And pork carcass cutout values were stronger as well. They closed a dollar and 48 cents higher, settling at $124.97 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this.